What's up, everybody? Welcome back, all you beautiful engineers. My name is MJ. Today, we are talking about Hetzner Cloud. So I've been using Hetzner for like two years now, I think, and it is a phenomenal service. And mostly it's phenomenal. Well, it's phenomenal for a couple of reasons. One, I used to use DigitalOcean and DigitalOcean is good. They have lots of um, data centers everywhere. Their pricing was good at the time, I felt like. But then Hetzner came along and blew their doors off. And I actually started using Hetzner, which is a uh, European company, um, before they even had US data centers. But then Hetzner went and did something. So I'm here on the East Coast of the US. They went and opened a Ashburn, Virginia data center. Boom. So I moved basically all my workloads over to Hetzner. And then just recently, they opened a West Coast uh, uh, data center here in the US. And so they're really branching out. They're really growing their business a lot. And I've learned to trust them a ton. So think about all the different cloud providers you use and maybe Hetzner fits in there somewhere for you. And I want to talk about their service today. So uh, let's let's jump right in. The main thing is that I'm cheap. The main thing is that I want as much as I can for my money. I don't have a ton of cash, so I want it, I want it to go the longest way. And these are by far the cheapest servers that I have found that are reliable. They're not some janky, like uh, if you go to low end box or something like that, they're not some janky hosting service. Like this is like a legitimate business and they have a real support service and they have a great uptime and they have a good backbone and they have all the, um, the main services that I'm looking for here. And we'll talk about what those main services are a little bit later, but uh, go check them out, hetzner.com. Actually, if you click the link in the, in the description here or in the Git repo, um, you'll get $20 free to use on Hetzner. I'll get 10 bucks, helps the channel out because I run a bunch of stuff here. Wife's giving me the side eye about the bills for Hetzner every month, so it would, I would appreciate it if you did that. Uh, but go ahead and click that link, and if you haven't signed up for Hetzner already, go ahead and click that link to sign up, or you can just go to hetzner.com if you don't want to help me out. I see how it is, I'm not hurt, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit hurt. I'm not all the way hurt though. Um, but I do appreciate it uh, if you click that link. So if you go here, you can check out what they have. Um, you can see an overview of all the different, different performance and stuff. Um, as I said, if you click on locations, you can see that they have a Germany, uh, two in Germany, one in Finland, and then uh, two data centers here in the US. Um, their prices are truly unbeatable. So if we look at, uh, what's available here in the US. If we look at the CPX11 um, with IPv4, you can turn that off if you want to, and it saves a little cash, it saves you 50, 50 euros, 0.5 euros, half a euro. I can't talk. Um, it's it's close enough, like a euro and a dollar. I'm talking in dollars all the time. This is close enough to like $4.50. Like the euro is almost one to one with the dollar as of recording this in January of 2023. So CPX11, two gigs of RAM and two vCPU, 40 gigs of space and 20 terabytes of traffic, 20 terabytes. Okay. That's a big deal. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to show you, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pull up the digital ocean page because I want that to sink in how much that is. So we go here to pricing and we look at their droplets and we look at their regular droplet, uh, two gigs, two vCPU, um, only three gigs or sorry, 3T of transfer versus 20T for Hetzner. Uh, 60 gigabyte uh, SSD, which is more than Hetzner, but I mean, 20, 20 gigs more. 18 bucks a month versus uh, like $4.50 a month. So even if you had to bump it up to the three, um, because the space was an issue, you get 80 gigs, three vCPU, four gigs of RAM. It's still less, it's less than half. So you get two of these for one digital ocean. It's just, the value's crazy. And like I said, these guys have been super reliable. Like I've run lots of stuff on here um, and it, I have not had any problems. Another thing to point out though, and this is important. Uh, oh wait, actually, let me finish that thought real quick. Uh, I have it on the GitHub repo, linked in the description if you wanna check this out, but I did a comparison here. So that was just a comparison of pricing with Hetzner and DigitalOcean. You can see here, Hetzner's around $4 a month, DigitalOcean's around $18 a month. Um, 
AWS T3A small, not including traffic or storage, 14 bucks a month. So you're easily in the 20s when you add traffic and storage on easily. Uh, egress charges in AWS is a killer. Um, that's outbound traffic, all inbound traffic's free. Azure doesn't have a two vCPU, two gig option that I saw, um, but their B1 MS node, which is a one virtual CPU and two gigs of RAM, $15 a month, not including traffic and persistent storage. GCP, E2 standard uh, two, $14 a month, uh, not including traffic and storage. I mean, all of these are at least twice as expensive, if not more, for this for the same service. And particularly for me, when I'm doing a lot of dev work, when I'm hosting some of my own websites and things like that, uh, just having all that baked in and having it at that cost, it's it's unbeatable for me. So, anyway, um, that's enough about price. Let's talk about what they don't have. Uh, they don't have a lot of the bigger services. So they don't have hosted Kubernetes. They don't have hosted databases. So if you care about those kind of things or those things are integral to your business and you don't want to manage those things on your own, um, either personally or in your business, you might want to look at a service provider like DigitalOcean or AWS because they're going to have more offerings. Um, hosted Kubernetes is a big one. A lot of people don't want to manage that. They just want to spin up some nodes and run their pods in a cluster that someone else is manages. manages. But if, if you don't care about that, if you don't mind doing that, there's actually a bunch of services like Terraform, or not services, but projects rather. Uh, Cube Hetzner is one. Terraform HCloud Cube Hetzner. Apparently this is some sort of a highly optimized auto upgrade HA load balanced thing run on K3S uh, on micro OS um, on Hetzner Cloud. Like got what 630 stars, pretty good. Uh, also, there's a guy named Vito Boda. Uh, if you look him up, he's done tons of cloud stuff. I think he's a cloud architect somewhere. Um, but he's actually got a Hetzner K3S deployment um, production grade uh, deploys to Hetzner as well. 485 stars. So there's some good support. Recently updated this uh, five days ago for the uh, the Terraform Cloud, uh, HCloud, Cube Hetzner. So look, you could you could make this the service that you want it to if you have the technical know-how. If you don't, if you're strapped for uh, tech staff or time, uh, you might want to look at some of the other more expensive options because they do have more managed services. And on the back end, that's really going to save you that time that you can't get more of. But for me. Uh, being a, a DevOps engineer, Hetzner is great. So um, that's that's all the intro I wanted to give you about. Oh, that's not true. I'm, <laughs> you're gonna see this a lot out of me. Um, here's here's a thing from Fleet. So apparently Fleet uh, is a um, is a company. What do they do? Uh, OS Query, oh, a device management service built on OS Query. So basically, they do uh, device management. It looks like mostly of Macs. Um, and they have an open source product and then they also have a, a, a paid product. Uh, but in 2021, uh, because I guess they were picking up new customers and there was lots more traffic, they spent $2,500 almost versus $370 the month before. And that was a wake up call, especially for a small company. You got to think about that. Like that's a big jump and not everybody can just eat that cost difference. Um, what they ended up doing, they looked at Cloudflare's free tier, but it wasn't going to cash uh, what they needed to. And they had to go get a quote and like look at the enterprise plan and stuff. But then they went and looked at Hetzner that has the 20 terabytes and no uh, ingress fees and pretty powerful servers. And they stood up Caddy file server um, with automatic HTTPS and let it run. Their December bill was 41 bucks versus... $2,457. So there's a 59x savings over that. And if they um, if they still doubled their egress, it would be 118 times savings over a service like AWS. So you really got to balance this. Like like this, this was something they could engineer. Um, DIY, you know, does have an additional burden to it as they note here. But if you got the time, man, this is worth it. So uh, let's jump into actually getting an account set up and then we'll actually deploy some instances. So we're going to jump back in it, that in a second part. Appreciate you joining me. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Go check out the GitHub repo for this project and also go and uh, and sign up using the link if you don't mind. That would help me out a lot. Appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later.